Okay, so you guys already heard the beat. Um, Travis Scott is dropping Utopia pretty soon. Um, so let's jump straight into the tutorial and see how we can make a Travis Scott type beat. Let's first start um, with the sample because um, if we have a look at the beat, um, this is the full one. Uh, we have this sample, which I obviously created before um, yeah, making this beat. And um, I flipped it a couple of times. So um, yeah, let's jump straight into the sample, how I did the sample. So I started with a Prophet 12 pad. And um, I think this one is from Free Kavi, Bank, Stash, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, this one has like a super nice Prophet 12 sound and this super basic chord progression. It sounds a bit like a Cardi song, but um, yeah, that's how I basically started this beat. And it's super simple, it's just like two basic chords. And um, then I took the same notes and copied it into kind of like a more plucky sound. This one, um, it's by DB and the Wizard from I think the Distra Kit. And this is what the ARP section sounds. So you can take like the chord progression I showed you earlier, this one, and um, put it into the next pattern and then um, use Alt A on Windows and on Mac I think it's Control A. And then you can open uh, the ARP section, obviously, and then you can decide the range and the time multiplication and all that. So that's what I came up with now, and that's what it sounds like. And the only effect I have on here is actually just the Valhalla Vintage verb, uh, with a decay time of 4 seconds. I'm a low cut at 400 Hz to um, get rid of the muddiness in the low end. And then I also decided to put some filler notes into uh, another sound, which is this Wales pad. Sounds like this. It's quite ambient, but uh, in a lower octave it sounds quite, yeah, plucky I think in my opinion. So that's how I came to this sound. And the only thing I did in here was just basic low cut and an EQ in order to yeah get rid of the low frequencies. And that's actually how the whole sample sound. started to arrange it and kind of like lay down the drums so this is how the pad sounds now and I made it pretty wide and put my favorite guitar rig preset on there which is acoustic multi and then obviously the stereo mode, turned down the studio reverb and the twin delay a bit, um, cut out some lows and left out the effect track. I think I just only tried it for some parts, but it didn't really fit. So um, that's what I left. And then I think also for the intro, I half timed the sample. And this is what it sounds like there. And then we have a third part, um, yeah, which is for like more bridges and before the chorus, um, which is this pad. Um, it's actually just like the basic pad we have here, but um, I reversed it and cut it into yeah, a four bar section um, for, for the breaks. And we have just some half time on here and a parametric EQ2. And this is what it sounds like um, now for the bridges. So this is basically it for the sample. So um, yeah, let's jump straight into the drums. So the drums are actually quite simple. I would say I will play it for you now. So let's jump straight into the first pattern. So if we have a look at the hi-hats, 
it's basically just two-step higher pattern with some rolls um, yeah in order to kind of like give it a bit more flavor and some some nice accents at some point um, then we have actually a kick which is quite a unique pattern I would say it sounds like this and I used the bolt kick from um, I think it's the drum kit um, it's like one of my go-to drum kits and um, the kick has like a pretty nice attack and a nice clipping sound if you kind of like drive it a bit too hard and um, that's why I yeah, chose this kick. Then we have the 808 um, or I would say like it's it's more bass sound which I turned kind of into an 808, um, turned up the out knob a bit and um, it's also from the distro kit from DB and the wizard and it sounds like this together with the kick. And it's just like play, basically playing um, yeah, on the C note the whole time and yeah, the G there to give it like some, some more accents. And then we have a second bass to kind of like give it a bit more interesting feel, especially with this roll and it sounds together like this. So in my opinion, it's like a super bouncy kind of like more OZ inspired drum sound or like at these drum patterns. Uh, for example, if you yeah have a look at songs like Escape Plan or Mafia, um, it's like pretty similar drum bounce, which is kind of like more unique for OZ. That's this for the first part of the drums. Then we have obviously some snares, um, which sounds like this. So it's just like, yeah, a normal typical snare and it's as the name says, it's the go-to snare. I cut out the lows a bit because I thought it's, it was a bit too too like punchy in the lows and um, just, yeah, put it as a regular snare. Then we have a counter snare, which is this one. It's the Oreos part two counter snare from um, Max Shooter's drum kit and an open head. Actually, it's also my go-to kind of like open head, the 808 Kylan open head from Max Shooter's drum kit. Um, and yeah, this is the kind of like more second part of the bounce. So like I said, then we have this drum bounce. And yeah, that's basically the whole beat throughout the whole thing. Um, I added actually some, yeah, some, some bells, I would say. These are played throughout the chorus and it's actually from uh, Analog Lab, it's prod by Hayes and it's the Dead Spirit preset. And I thought they fit really nice because they are quite ambient but also like kind of mystic and work just pretty well with the beat um, in my opinion. So this is what the whole beat sounds like. And Travis Scott is actually known for, um, yeah, pretty impressive outros or intros in my opinion. Um, especially outros and intros by Mike Dean. So I kind of like tried this technique a bit to have like a super interesting and um, yeah, voluminous outro. So this is the outro, I will play it for you um, just throughout. So yeah, this is the outro and um, I think the synth part is probably the most interesting one. 
Okay, so for the outro, we have these chords, um, these three chords. The last one is just like repeated. And this pattern is um, actually just repeated throughout the whole outro, which you can see here. So um, yeah, the root note stays C all the time. And yeah, that's what, what it sounds like basically. And to give it um, that like nice deep feeling, I went into um, yeah this kind of like preset by Kavi's stash, which is like a super nice bass sound in my opinion. And that's basically the reason why I love to use like one shots um, because of the C note, as you could hear. Um, this pattern is just like repeated two times and then this like low C comes in and because the one shot has this like effect where um, a high cut filter is like built in into like the sound, which comes in slowly, you can really use this and create a super nice atmosphere. And together with um, the synth, it sounds like this. So that's basically all I did for um, the outro or like at least all I did new for the outro and then I took actually the sample and layered it on top until um, this kind of like point where actually the crystallizer comes in. So it's like super dark and creates like a super nice atmosphere, um, especially for the outro. And um, the last thing actually I found was kind of like a phrase in arcade. And this is what it sounds like. And as you could hear, um, I added um, Finisher Micro, which is also free kind of like alternative to Crystallizer to also give it some more ambience. So um, this is what the whole outro sounds like. So this would be like the last part of the chorus. And um, this is what it sounds like. So yeah, this is the finished beat. And in order to show you that it fits Travis Scott quite nice, um, we have the acapella from the song Escape Plan. Um, we are at 154 BPM in the key of um, C minor. So yeah, let's see if Travis Scott fits on it. And as you could hear, in my opinion, Travis Scott fits quite nice on there. So um, yeah, this is how we made a Travis Scott Astroworld Utopia, whatever you want to call it, uh, type beat. And um, yeah, 
I hope this was interesting, helpful. Uh, let me know in the comments and if you enjoyed this video, leave, uh, leave a thumbs up. Um, just drop a comment and see you in the next video.